think it really changes your approach that much. I think, uh, like I said, once you get in, it doesn't really matter. And I think the expectations for us, even though they might not be quite as high from the outside, I think in here um, we want to move on. So, um, you know, we're going to do our best, but I don't think that we really get caught up either way in that. It's a little strange you haven't played the Rangers since January. I mean, these two teams are division rivals, but yeah. they haven't played each other. Yeah, it's been weird that way, the way it worked out. But obviously you got a uh, healthy dose of each other there all at the same time. And we're pretty intense games, pretty good carryover from, from the playoffs last year. And I think, uh, you know, with some series, it's kind of a feeling of process with us. I think, you know, the emotion, the intensity will be there right away. And um, I'm sure that'll be something that, uh, you know, both, try, both teams try to use to their advantage. 3-0-1 against uh, the Rangers, and then you guys give up like 15 goals. Uh, you need to neutralize to, to not that happen in this series. Um, well, they're deep. I think just you know consistency, not making those those big mistakes that they're going to make you pay for, and uh, just trying to feed their offense. You know they've got a lot of guys um, you know, through their lineup and, and on D as well who can create offense, and um, we've really got to be smart with the puck and, and make them come 200 feet. So um, you know just making sure we're smart with the puck and. You know, not making those mistakes, like I said, that, uh, you know, will hurt us. Last year, last year's experience, a lot of guys were up three games to one, kind of, they, they took it at the end. What, what are you guys going for this, this playoff? Um, well, I think, you know, anytime, uh, you know, playoff series, it's, it's important to adjust and, and make sure that every game, you know, win or lose, you're evaluating for what it is. And, um, you know, we just got to commit to playing the same way the whole series, no matter what happens. Uh, we know what our game looks like, and we know what our identity is at this point. Um, you know, you're obviously going to have to make little adjustments, you know, throughout the series. But just understanding that and making sure we stick with that, you know, no matter what happens, win or lose. At this stage of your career, do you still get you know, excited for playoffs? So you played a whole year for this, and it's the best time of year. Uh, this is why you play. Is uh, you know, for playing the playoffs and. Um, it is really so hard to get here, and you know a lot of people probably don't realize that it's, it's tough. And there's always expectations, whether it's us or the Rangers, you know, whoever you are. Um, you know, this is a time of year you want to be playing. This is time you know you work hard to get here. So uh, you know, once you're here, a lot of the work's been put in. You don't, you know, you shouldn't have to change too much. But everyone wants to elevate their game and, and find a way to, to keep playing. How do you two more guys? How do you guys or can you guys get the identity back of being a team that can move the puck quickly and get it up? Go 200 feet that way without Latang. Uh, well, yeah, I mean he's a big part of it. He plays, you know, a ton of minutes for us and uh, has looked to do that a lot. I think it's just as a group um, making sure everybody's an option. Um, you know where he might have skated with it and, and made one pass. We might have to make a couple and really support each other up the ice. But um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, like I said, everyone's got a pretty good understanding of what their role is and you know what we have to do to be successful. But uh, the main thing is that we're, we're working as a unit out there on both sides of the puck.